Hey everybody, welcome to Love Wings Ministry Studios, coming at you live here with Love News with your host, Pastor Benny Ramos from Love Wings Ministry Studios and Love Wings Ministries. God bless you. Amen, amen, and amen. Hey everybody, God bless you again. Pastor Benny here, amen. Come in a little early because I uh, was supposed to meet with my brothers, I hope, in a little while to pray and to encourage one another. And also, I uh, open the doors at 6 to, or between 6 and 7, whatever time is good for you, 6 or 7 to come down. I'm going to be praying and we invite those that would like to come and pray and also fellowship a little bit. This Friday night, I'm starting this a new thing going on, amen, but I'm here, amen, ready to share the word with you, my sister and brother, I hope the week has been good for you this week, amen, remember that you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you, and I'm here to encourage you and to remind you how much God loves you and he cares about everything that you're going through right now, but remember, as the word says, that we can not maybe, that we can do all things through him to strengthen us. Amen. So again, I want to give a shout out to Full Gospel Tabernacle out in Far Rockaway Beach, Queens, and all my brothers and sisters out here in the Florida Peninsula. Amen. Uh, I send my love to you and uh, um, praise report that God is still in control, whatever you might be going through. Amen. Or whatever I might be going through. But again, I just want to pray before I start. Father, I thank you for this opportunity that I could come once again, Lord, to share your word, to encourage my brothers and sisters, as to remind them as I remind myself every day, Lord, how wonderful it is to be your son and to serve you, Father, Lord, and to have a relationship with you as son to father relationship. Amen. And I pray for all my sisters and brothers and those that are watching this video now, watch it later, whatever they might be going through, Father, Lord, to put it in your hands as I continue to do that. Amen. So again, for Pastor Benny, I just want to say God bless you. Amen. Amen. And amen. God is good. Amen. He's going to shut the music down a little bit here. Amen. God is so good. I'm here with my beautiful wife on the camera. Amen. Waiting on y'all to come out. Amen. And again, I ask those that are watching me, please send a comment and let me know that you're watching uh, so I can acknowledge you. And that encourages me and the work that we're doing here at Love Wings. Amen. Amen. And amen. And remember that, that uh, we're always here for you. Amen. And uh, I just want to say God bless you again. Amen. And remember that whatever... Let me just... Here at okay. Whatever you might be going through, remember, always put it in God's hand. Amen? Amen. That's what me and Natasha do, to, uh, do. Amen. But again, I know that maybe the week has been maybe a little hard for you this week. Maybe things are a little tight this week or something. But remember, man, uh, the Bible said not to worry about anything, you know? And that's what we got to remember. This is why I'm a stickler and to tell everybody and to share the truth to put on the full armor of God, amen, at all times. And remember the salvation, which is his helmet, to remind us, amen, of how much he loves us and how much he cares and that he's with us. But I want to talk about today, I was teaching on this before, and, I, and uh, but I want to give you some more insight about spiritual wisdom, amen. That's what we need, spiritual wisdom. And the way that I find to find spiritual wisdom is to you know, constantly fellowship with the Lord and praying and and fasting and and also worshiping the Lord. But and also the most important also is to continue to water my seed with the Word of God, Amen. And to remind myself all the time, Amen, of 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 the goodness of God. In other words, Amen. And and asking the Lord to give me wisdom. I, like I always tell everybody my family, and I tell those here at Love Wings, when we don't know what to do, 
just get on your knees, amen, and pray. When you can't stand no more, just go on your knees and pray. And ask God for wisdom and understanding. And, and then open up the book, the, the Bible, amen. And just look at the scriptures and God will speak to you, amen. And the Holy Ghost there that we have, when you have that relationship with God, will uh, uh, encourage you and also counsel you, amen, when you call upon it. This is why sometimes we got to turn the plate down, right, Nat? And, and just fast and, and get back to those basic elements of prayer and talking to God and getting that spiritual wisdom. Because the more we seek and the more we will find, amen, and God is one that wants to bless us. He says, man, I'm, I'm here, amen, I want to bless you. And the word has so many scriptures about that, amen. But we know that back in the, the Old Testament, uh, the enemy of Israel marked uh, uh, marked them, amen, and uh, uh, also persecuted them uh, because they, the work that they were attempting to do, you know, and maybe today that you might be uh, well face that too also in your life, as I do sometimes, it's hard, amen. Uh, but all the things that are happening around us, man, and, you know, <laughs> and, and the bad press, I guess, that we get on social media, and there's so much technology now uh, you know i heard uh this a uh, little while ago that someone just took their life over here and and not too far from where we're at and it's sad amen to someone uh, i don't even think he was from this community and he came out here and he and he killed himself amen and you know you know, it's it's this is what what the enemy wants to do is to kill and to destroy you amen and to put you in a place where you lose your mind because that's what is all, you know, uh, that's what he's all about. Amen? And we got to, you know, this is serious stuff we're talking. We're talking about life. And I found life and more abundant and strength and joy in having a relationship with God, a true father and son relationship. But I, I want to say that again, man, that you know what? Maybe you've been facing those things. I don't know. You know, I'm just here just sharing uh, what the God has given me, Amen. But you know, any time that we are determined, and 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 I and I know it happened to me, and I'm pretty sure I'm just being a witness and a testimony. When I was determined to do something for God, there was always be those ready to criticize what I was, you know, I was doing, Amen. And maybe you're going through that, and I just felt led to talk about that today. And they won't, uh, and, and they won't. Uh, do anything different or or not at all and, and you know what i'm saying because you know we got to stay focused amen remember that friends don't let and i say that to you sincerely my brothers and sisters don't let the crowd get to you go on for god you know what i'm trying to say go on for god for the lord's best workers include are included like of Jesus and Paul and you know what and 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 all the disciples amen I'm pretty sure they were criticized and because they were praising the Lord and bringing the the love of God amen which is the word of God knowledge of how much God loves people amen and sometimes you can get criticized for that and do things like that but I'll tell you my brothers and sisters let us continue to stand Remember that we have our high priest, amen, uh, which is Jesus Christ, amen, and he's out there, amen, in heaven, looking down, amen, interceding for you and me, amen. And remember that we can do all things through Christ, amen. But again, and I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, man, when you start saying you want to do this for the Lord, you're excited that there's always someone to try to crunch your spirit is that the truth natasha mm -hmm. or say something negative amen and that's sad because the bible tells us not to do that the bible tells us the opposite to what to encourage and to be excited about the things of god and the work of the lord amen yes. you know so if you're in a crowd like that man i'll tell you the truth get away amen be around positive people people that are moving forward in their lives and in the things of God and have joy and peace. Amen. Because that's what God wants us to do. Especially you will know them by the fruits they bear. That's all I'm going to say on that a little bit because I don't want to 
you know, again, I don't come to uh, discourage anybody or, or down anybody. I come to uplift, but I come also to speak the truth. Amen. Because it happens to all of us. But again, I want to give you the word of God. Amen. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, out of the New Living Translation, Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Amen. To devour. And that's true. Amen. And I'm pretty sure we met some people that are like that too. Amen. Oh, Lord, help us, Jesus. But remember, again, I come to uplift. We can do all things. And remember, the good work that God has put in you, man, continue to do it, my sisters and brothers. I want to encourage you that. You know what? Uh, again, you always hang out long enough with people, you get to find out where they're at. Amen. But that doesn't mean that you have to be in that position. What we do is pray for them. Amen. And that's got to give us wisdom because ourselves, we got to stay intact and flowing in the things of God. Amen. And, and, and in the work of God and doing good. That's it, man. Uh, basically being, you know, uh, uh, doing the right thing. Amen. Seeking after righteousness and truth. Amen. And remember this in James chapter 5 verse 9 says, Do not complain, brethren, against one another. So that yourselves may be not be judged. Behold, that the judge is standing right at the door. Amen. In other words, in layman's terms, God is watching everything we do. Amen. And even the Bible said, before you talk about somebody having a, a, what's that word again? A peck on their eye. Make sure you take out that log from your eyes if that's the situation. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just sharing. Amen. Remember, encouraging is our strength always. The opposite of discouragement is encouragement. And I know you know that, but I remind myself of that all the time. Amen. And when I see things like that, what I do, I just start praying for those individuals where they're at because it's sad. Amen. Amen. And like I said, we hear the news and all the things that are happening, technology, I mean, Somebody does anything right now, you know it within two seconds, no matter where in the world, especially if they're famous or they're well-known, rather. Amen. And, and that's how life is. But imagine how God is looking at us. What he's saying about you and me. Amen. Are we living right? Are we doing the things that we uh, confess that we, that we believe in? Amen. And that's the question that we got to... Uh, uh, ask ourselves every day and remind ourselves that, you know what, I can't do nothing without Christ, amen, in my life, amen, and the word that guides me and helps me uh, to be that what God has called us all to be, you know, amen. to be his children, amen. Philippians 4.13, which I, you know, everybody, but I want to say it again, it says, I can do all things through him that strengthens me. We can do all things in him that strengthens me. So I want to encourage you to remind you of that as I remind myself. Amen. That You know what? Uh, we got to stay alert and on God because the enemy's out there and we can't let our emotions take over. Amen. This is why I always tell people I don't walk in the natural realm. I always conduct myself in the spiritual realm and always remember the more I... I think of it, the more I talk about it, the more I become that. Amen. Because what you put in is what you get out. Amen. Yes. What you sow is what you're going to reap. So make sure that you're watering that seed that God has put in your heart. And for those that don't know the Lord, and maybe you're in that position right now, I want to pray with you. Amen. And ask the Father to come into your heart as he did mine. Amen. Simply. And say, Lord, give me, that's how I got spiritual wisdom and understanding and learning to live my life according to, to, uh, uh, to the purposes of, of God, which is joy, peace. Amen. And we're all looking for joy and peace. Amen. Amen. And we know that Jesus came and he was the what? The Prince of Peace. Amen. Natasha, can you, well, no, it's fine. Amen. It's probably the laptop. Amen. But, I, I, you know, I, I come every Friday here, and I want to share with you I'm a, and, and Tuesdays and Sunday. And, uh, you know, I was just talking to some brothers I'm trying to get, and a new believer that came into the kingdom, uh, 
my brother, amen, I just met and you know, he's a uh, great musician, amen, and I just want to bless him, but make sure that he understands as I remind myself that, you know what, I am a worshiper, and that's what God is looking for. And we know that the devil was the, the lead worshiper, and, and uh, you know, so we got to be on God, especially as those out there that are in, uh, in the music field, I guess, in the worship field, because it's not uh, a performance is a worship from our hearts to God's hearts, and we're leading people into worship, and that's so important. I don't know. I'm saying that because I was just studying uh, some things about exploring worship, which I learned many years ago, and I was just uh, retuning uh, those same teachings into my life or re-going over them again to be able to share that with a brother or a sister that I might meet. Uh, to understand what a worshiper is, amen, and what God expects from us from the Word of God. Not my opinion, but from the Word of God, amen. And the reason I, I say this is because that's how we encourage. When I always say this, people that we meet, amen, right now, people that we meet, that's our ministry. Amen. And wherever they at and whatever they might be going through, uh, and, and, and they relate to me, I'm going to look for the scriptures, amen, not only give my testimony as a worshiper, uh, because I've done that, but I'm just using it as an example, but I, I'm going to look up scriptures and renew my mind again, because sometimes we can get so much scripture in us, and we got, that's why the Bible, because it repeats itself, but we got to repeat that also in our lives, amen, in remembrance, and knowing how to use the word in our own life before we tell anybody else to use the word. Amen. And that's what I call spiritual wisdom is always going back to refresh your mind. There's a little fly in it. Is bothering me. To refresh your mind. Amen. And your soul and your spirit. Amen. With the word of God. And what happens? I tell you the truth, my sister and brothers. The Holy Spirit rises within you because... It never goes contrary to the word, but it continues to help you and to remind you to apply that word in your in your life. Amen. Amen. This is why I believe in uh, not just preaching, but teaching so much. We got to really learn the word of God for ourselves. Amen. I can't go by what this one is saying or that one is saying. You got to really study the word of God. Natasha, do me a favor. Just turn that light on. This one a little bit. It's not on. Amen. And that's so important. Uh... Yeah, just go to the button, amen, and you'll see it there, amen. Just turn it on. I think it should be on. Is it on? Uh, all right, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. All right, right there. I just want to make sure everybody sees me good. <laughs> okay, great, amen. Thank you, Nat. Uh, so again, you know, we got to empower ourselves with the Word of God, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, for ourselves, amen. The Bible says, show yourself approved, amen, that you know God. That's how we get to know God, and I always sharing with everybody. And not that I know everything, I'm still learning to the day that I'm in the presence of God, amen. That's when I stop learning, amen, Natasha, right? We got to continue to renew our mind day and night, as the Bible says, for your own personal relationship with God, because again, I want to say this so important. And I, I'm not talking about religion now. I'm talking about a true father and son relationship and daughter and father relationship. And that's the truth. With all the things that are happening, especially in the churches today, we better be ready and on God because we know what the scriptures say. Amen. And we can see the times as they're changing. Amen. And the word has already told us that many two, over 2,000 years ago. So let us make sure, and I and I really encourage you to learn the Word of God as I'm still learning. Not that I know, but I'm going to keep trying, my brothers and sisters. And when I don't know what to do, I'm going to go to the Word. Amen. Yes, I love to hear prayer. Yes, I love to hear people. But at the same time, I have to go straight to God. Amen. Amen. That's what it comes down to, and not about religion. We do so many things, and we want to be so many things. But I always say to people, are you sure that you're... Uh, I was sharing last of uh, uh, Wednesday night. We have classes. I don't know why our church ain't full, but we have classes. And we were rec uh, talking about recognizing the calling in your life. Amen. That God has called you. 
Make sure that you're doing what God has called you to do. Don't be out of step of something that you choose to do. Make sure that God is in it. That's all I want to say on that uh, because that's spiritual wisdom. Amen. A lot of people will, uh, want to do so many things, and I'm going to speak it like I see it because you can see it around us, and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Amen. But remember that God is always telling us that when he tells you to do something, do it as I started this message. And Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, I have... Uh, I have not commanded you to be. I have com I have not commanded you to be strong, uh, strong and encouraged. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. So again, be strong. Amen. And encouraged. Amen. And do not be frightened. Rather, and do not. Be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. If you are in the right place with God. Amen. Yeah. And also remember that Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, and this is the truth, for nothing will be impossible. I want to say that again. For nothing will be impossible uh, uh, with God. Amen. And that's the truth. Amen. And that's, you know, I'll come to give you spiritual wisdom because, you know, faith is what gives us the courage to keep going. Is that the truth, Nat? Yeah. <laughs> faith, I'm going to say that again, is what gives us a courage to keep going when we feel overwhelmed, my sisters and brothers, and even uh, through faith in God that we can trust in his what? His goodness. Because God is always good. Amen? Yes. God is always good. I want to say that again. Amen. I love saying that. And looking for, and where do we look for that goodness and that encouragement? We look for that encouragement with Bible verses to grow our faith. Amen. To grow our faith. Uh, this is something that I've learned to teach. Amen. Because sometimes, you know what? I want to learn, amen, and I want to be able that what I've learned to share with those, not that, again, that maybe those out there can speak more elegant than me and all that, but are you learning? Are we really learning, amen? Are we really doing what God has called us to do as ministers? I'm talking to the ministers. Are we really teaching the Word of God the way it needs to be taught? Not our opinion, but the Word, what the Word says, amen. All we can do is give our testimony, Amen. What God has done in our life. But at the end of the day, we're here to share the word and to guide those with the word of God. And that goes for everybody. Amen. Because the Bible said that we all were anointed. Those that are called by God all are anointed to what? To, uh, to what? To preach the gospel. To share the wisdom of God to others. That's what the gospel is to me. is the wisdom of God, the heart of God. Amen. For every person. Amen. Remember, again, looking for encouraging Bible verses to grow your faith. That's how I grow my faith every day. And especially as I continue to pray and fast and seek after the kingdom of God. And keep doing that what God has called me to do. Amen. The scriptures will help you know, my brothers and sisters, the power of God that is available to us when we call on him in faith. I'm going to say that again. And if you're out there, write this down, man. Remind yourself as I do. I write everything down. Amen. The scriptures will help you to know the power of God that is available to us. That means you, yes, you, my sister and brother out there, when we call on him, in what? In faith. Amen. Yes. In faith. Philippians 1, 6 says, Being confident of this, that he who began, what? A good work in you will carry it, carry it, on to complete, amen, until the day of who? Of Christ Jesus. Until the day of Christ Jesus. So he who begin, begin, I'm sorry, began a good work in you will carry it amen. on to completion 
until the day of Christ. Amen. Mm. So we know that that's spiritual wisdom. Amen? Amen. The Word. Amen. And not only reading the Word, we have to apply it, my brothers and sisters. We got to apply it. Oh, hallelujah. I don't, you know, all I can share is I, I, I'm just grateful to be here tonight. Amen. I can, you know, they, I'm, I'm, you know uh, uh, I thank the Lord for the very air I breathe. I thank the Lord for, for today. Amen. Right? Yes, amen. Sometimes we get caught up in so many things. Just be thankful. And especially I thank the Lord and, and worship him because I know him. Amen. That I have a true son and father relation. I really believe. Amen. And, and this is the thing, man. We got to really believe. Amen. If you don't believe and you don't trust God. Amen. Uh, you know, there's so many things that God wants to pour out into your life, my sister and brother out there. Amen. And we got to remember that. Amen. Let us not get caught up in religion. Let us get caught up in a true fellowship with God and knowing the word of God and searching the scriptures for yourself and finding wisdom and knowing what to do. Amen. To remember together in harmony, the scripture tells us how good and pleasant it is when the brothers dwell in unity. And that's in Psalms 133 verse 1. And I think of that all the time. This is why, you know, I'm here. Amen. Because I want to encourage you, my sister and brother, amen, as God has, what he's done in my life and in my family, and my amen. wife has testified, that's why we do what we do here, amen, and we just, you know, uh, just brothers and sisters sharing the truth and the wisdom that God has given us with you and sharing and teaching uh, with our very lives of how we live our lives and, 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 and fellowshipping and sharing that love with all of you out there. And that's the, that's the heart of God. Amen. That's what God wants. So number one, he wants that you have a true relationship with him. Amen. A personal relationship because he is personal in every area. Amen. Because Amen. he's for our good. Amen. And and I, I just want to share that with you. And we are all called by the word of God to be in that uni uh, un unity unity. With him and, and also with ourselves. Is that the truth, Nat? Amen. You know, I want to give you one more verse. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8 says out of the New Living Translation, Finally, all of you should be of one mind. Amen. I want to just stop there because this is, this is the mindset that we have to have, the, 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 you know, the mindset of God and the heart of God. Amen. You know, sympathizing with each other and loving each other and, you know, with each uh, other as brothers and sisters and being tender-hearted, amen, as the Bible says, and mostly and keeping a humble attitude. Keeping a humble attitude. Meaning this, in unity with all the fo followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Making, and then also Ephesians 4, 3 says in the New Living Translation, making every effort to keep yourself united in the Spirit. Amen. Binding yourselves together with what? With peace. Amen. We get so angry at each other. We do things and to try to get back at each other. That's not of God. Amen. You know, we see it on the road road rage and all these things that's not of god that's not wisdom you know what i'm saying that's the enemy that's infiltrated this is why we gotta i i, I tell you my sisters and we gotta be totally together in harmony and in unity and the only way we're going to get there is by and i'm being honest with you if i found in my life is having that true relationship with god and and and, and searching for the wisdom of god the word of god and doing what the word says, doing good, seeking after righteousness and truth, and treating each other with respect and integrity. This is why the Bible is very clear, and sometimes we, we tend to fall away from it. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. You understand what I'm saying? Let us walk in integrity and truth. That's what God is calling us today, man. That's You know, God wants to, us to move in that direction because that's his heart. Amen. And if you read the scriptures, that's what it's all about. It never talks about 
hating someone or being angry with someone or not forgiving someone. We got to do that. Amen. And remember that we're here for a short time. You know, I just lost my niece, uh, and uh, she died very young. And, and, you know, we don't know the time and place. That's, uh, you know, that's serious. Amen. And we better make sure that we have our true relationship with God because we know our destination. But also, too, that uh, while we're here, let us let us usher the kingdom of God here. That's what God has called us to do, to spread Amen. the gospel, uh, to treat. And how's the gospel? It's love. To me, it's always been love. And Freely he's given to you, you freely give back. You see, when people try to use the, the gospel to make money and to do things for themselves, that's me, myself, and our spirit, and I'll say it. Amen. And we're to be uh, followers of love. Amen. Of truth. Uh, uh, they, they don't seem to understand that the blessings, I, I'd rather have the blessings of God than the men. Amen? Amen. I want the blessings of God in my life. I want to live a... a uh, a life of integrity and truth because I represent him that is in me. Amen. And we got to remember that. You know, we got to remember that. That's a serious calling. Amen. This is why we were sharing, recognizing the calling of being a child of God. Amen. And reminding yourself. And you know what? And saying, here I am, Lord. Uh, you know, uh, and, and remember that the blessings come from him. Amen. You know, we start depending on people or even the things that we do in religion, then that's that's what it, exactly what it is, is religion. You're depending on people. You're not depending on God. And that's, a, that's the truth. Amen. And God doesn't, you know, God doesn't call us to go to be over our heads. Amen. And when we do things in order and wait upon the Lord and work what you have, you know what I'm saying, and be faithful with that little, then God will... We'll, we'll bless it. Amen. Because he said what? Be humble. Amen. Again, you know, being humble. And that's so important. Remember that again. Love each other as brothers and sisters. Be tenderhearted and keeping a humble attitude. Meaning in united with all fellow, uh, follower, followers of Jesus Christ. That's you and I, my sister and brother. Let us prefer one another. And again, I want to say this freely. The Bible says he's given to us. We're to freely get back because my source and my strength is him. Amen, period. Amen. He uses others. That's true to bless. Amen. But because it's in the spirit. Amen. And you will identify those that are in the spirit that are sons and daughters of Christ. Amen. Uh, through Christ Jesus, rather, to the Father. Amen. But again, I come to, t you know, as I, what I've learned, I'm going to share it. Amen. And that's what we've been doing. And we're still learning and growing. And, and our doors are open. My wife's going to put the address up. Amen. We invite you to come out. Amen. Uh, 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 tomorrow, I'll, I'll be here. If someone want to come and share testimony, I'm opening the door. You can sit here with me. I've said it before. Amen. Uh, 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 that we can share uh, what you're doing. And I want to encourage you, my sister and brother, amen, and just call us, let me know. And then next Saturday, my wife will be on with Women at the Round Table, amen. So this Saturday is an open door for those that would like to come, amen. Just call us, amen, or just come on down, amen. Let me know, call us, and or email me at lovewingsministry at gmail.com, and if I can pray and help anyone, and I'm going to go right next door after this, and I'm just going to pray right now, and I'm going to be just worshiping God, and I'm going to open the doors to the sanctuary, and I hope someone comes, amen, I'm here, amen, I'm going to be there, and I'm just going to be praising God, amen, and uh, just thanking the Lord, and taking this Friday, I'm opening up the doors on Friday, this is why I started the thing early, it's 6 o'clock now, so I'll be going next door, and I'll be there, amen, if anyone would like to come, there's our address, uh, give, show it again, and then show the picture of the cute smart sign, for those that maybe don't know where we're at, we're right next to the Chrysler dealership, there's the address, 5801 South US Highway 1, Fort Pierce, and, uh, uh, 34982, amen, and then you could go, just put the cute smart picture, uh, the, you see it? Amen. And take the address out. We're right there. You can't miss us. Amen. That's why I did this. Amen. You can take the address out. Amen. 
and you'll see that sign. And as you drive in, we're right there, the, the, the first floor. You'll see all the suites. You'll see the sanctuary next door. And I'm at the studio in the following uh, suite. And I invite you to come out. I don't know what else to do, but say, here I am. Amen. Come on down. Amen. It's Friday night. Let us pray together and let us get to know each other and fellowship. And those that I know would like to come by, just come by. Amen. Uh, uh, let us take this Friday and just, you know, what's, uh, uh, share. Amen. I want to share. Amen. With you and, and uh, meet you. Amen. And again, I, just, I, I, I don't want to leave again without saying that if you don't know the Lord or maybe you've been hurt for whatever reason, whether it's religion, amen, because I know a lot of people that have been hurt by religion, amen, and, and things that happen. And I said I will always speak the truth. We have nothing to hide here. I pray that you remember, forgive them, amen, and uh, pray for them, amen, as I do, amen, and continue just to stand firm. And if you are looking for a place, we have chairs here for you, waiting with your name on it. Uh, we're a teaching church. We teach a five-fold ministry, amen, and we share love, and we're just building a family, amen. You're my sister and brother, and we invite you to come, amen, and just, again, surrender it to God and forgive those and things that happen, man. We all you know, or make mistakes, but we can change those mistakes by continuing to seek after righteousness and truth, my brothers and sisters. I want to give a shout out to all of you out there that know us. I love you. I thank God for all of you. Amen. And keep us in prayer. Amen. And uh, also we are here. Amen. And uh, just wanted to say that. So from Pastor Benny and Natasha, I just want to say God bless you. And I didn't see no calling. Hmm? 13. Oh, yeah, and those uh, will be celebrating our anniversary service on the 13th of July. And we invited those that, if you've gotten our invitations, please, and I've sent it through the phone, please send me back that you're coming, amen. Uh, we're going to have food and all that. And we're just celebrating the 13 year that God has given us here, amen. And we have. Uh, my my family all be there, amen. My daughters are coming down, and some of the leaders from my church in New York are coming down. The elders are coming down, amen, to encourage us. And those that I've sent you out, those please, those that I've sent you out, I want to say that again. If you're coming or not, please acknowledge. Let me know on my phone. I really want you there, those that I've said, said the invitation to, uh, which is the poster that I... My wife just put up, please let me know, amen, uh, that you're coming, amen, and it's uh, going to be at the Polis Club, amen, the address is on there and everything, so uh, please let us know that you're coming out, and I I'm just grateful to God, as, and we're looking for those that really want to get involved, that are sick and tired of being sick and tired of religious things, and want to get involved, amen, and uh, be a part of this family, which we just sharing the gospel. And we invite everyone out, and our doors are always open. And we're here to teach, to as it says in Ephesians, to equip the saints for the work of service, and to be sent out, Amen, in the right way with truth and integrity, but also fully armored with the Word of God, because that's what we do here. We teach the Word of God, Amen, and. Uh, we're living it to the best of our ability every day, amen, as we continue, as me and my family and those uh, that are here with us, amen, continue to walk forward in the things of God and nothing but the truth, so help us God in everything that we do, amen, because I believe, I, 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 if you get, you know, I can say whatever to those out there maybe that don't know me, but those that know me, Know that I am very serious because I love God. Amen. And I'm very serious of the things that we do. Amen. Here at Love Wings Ministry. So again, I want to say to those out there, if you are not going somewhere, or because you're all my brothers and sisters, we're here for you. Amen. Is that the truth, Nat? Amen. amen. We're here for you and... Uh, whatever we've learned, we share it with everyone. We don't hold back, and we encourage you to do great things, even to, to be here on this program and, and starting new programs. Uh, that's our, philo uh, our philosophy here is to one thing, to, to encourage and to build up people. 
Amen, amen, and amen. I don't know why this is. Okay. So again, from Pastor Benny here, looking forward to seeing you. And don't forget, Sunday, we have our service at 11 a.m. We pray from 11 to 1130. Then we go live. On, uh, then we do praise and worship, rather. But we go live on social media. Amen. And then we go to the Word of God as the Lord, as the Holy Spirit leads. Amen. So again, I love you. Amen. From Pastor Benny and Natasha. God bless you. Amen, amen, and amen.